Well, here she is. Finally completed the air horn install. First, I'm going to show you where I put the mounted button, which is actually quite perfect. Nice and easy to get to, right there. It's a nice little four screws up under here, because this whole piece in here, including this piece, is all attached under here and this piece here. There's a couple clips on the back side of this. Nice and easy to get through. Next, because I have the RAM box storage here, I decided to put the onboard air system to fill up my tires in here. Right there. Nice protected out of the way. In the bottom of this, there's a drain plug. So you can fill this up with ice and beers and whatever, drive it on the beach. But again, nice protected. Works well. Thank you, Klein. And again, that just gets mounted underneath here. All the way up through there. Traveled along underneath. So we come to the front here. Where the actual horns are installed. Bear with me, I'm not trying to make you dizzy. Here we got the horns. Right here with the mounting bracket. This side wasn't too bad. I got my grounds mounted here. No issues with that. Worked pretty well. The one issue I did have, because my truck can be lifted up or down for off-road height and entry exit level, <clears throat> this bar, I don't know how well you can see it, was in my way. And that is for raising and lowering the suspension. Again, not trying to make you guys dizzy. So that added small issues for me. Uh, their longest one here. I had to make a, a bracket out of a piece of stainless steel right here. And I just mounted that to their bracket with some uh, lock washers, nuts, and all that good stuff, all that good hardware right there. So I was able to keep the horn away just enough there. Otherwise, it wouldn't be able to fit. Now, on the other side here, on the passenger side, because of this same bar, I had the issue with the three gallon tank. So I called Klein and they were great about it. They sent me a smaller tank. Unfortunately, it's what I had to go with. <clears throat> but this is the, I believe a two gallon tank. Maybe it's a two and a half but rated for the same 150 PSI, yada yada. Use all the same mounting hardware that they gave me for the horns, for the onboard air, and all that, again, worked out well. That was my only issue was because these two pieces on the side of the tank have to be right between this bar because this bar moves up and down when I raise and lower my truck. Not everybody will have that issue, but I did three gallon tank should fit for everybody it's just me and my own problems this bracket again no issues compressor sits in there well uh, make sure whenever you do this to uh, make sure you have the right tools out for the job you go back and forth ten times to get the right size sockets and everything else and uh, I couldn't go with a recommended mounting procedure for the compressor to the tank because this just would not have fit right here. Just wouldn't have happened. Unfortunate, because it would have been a lot easier to attach the compressor to the tank itself. <clears throat> not the end of the world. Again, everything worked out pretty well. Everything fit. If you're doing this alone like I did, uh, just take your time. Do not rush yourself. It can be a real pain in the butt. I did this over the course of probably about two weeks because I had to go back and forth with Klein and everything that they were sending me and the sizing and missing parts. And Again, they were great about getting me everything quickly. This is some of the wiring here from the compressor for the tank and then for the horns themselves. Solenoid here, the wiring. Snuck everything up to the driver's side and up all inside their braided plastic thing there 
worked out really well. All right, next video, I'll show you the horns in action. I forgot to put this in uh, the other part of the video there. Mounted the air intake for the compressor right here. Should be a nice dry spot. Not exactly cool because it's inside the engine, but that just is what it is. And then all my wiring went down here, over there, into the relay, to the power. I got a couple other things that are a little loose over here. I got to tighten up. But this is essentially how it all worked out. Down that way. I wanted to use some of this braiding plastic just to get everything in there, but the wire's going in different directions. I got to get a little bit more in here to tighten it up, like I said, and that'll be the end of it.